checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Man. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I, well, I think it's been answered. But when this is done, this Wendy Chukalani Jordan match, that was done, I thought, when was the last time I saw a worse match than that on a PLE? And my first guess was it probably involved The Fiend somehow. I'm sure it was The Fiend. And somebody pointed out, in fact, yes, it was a year and a half ago, they did Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Oh. Okay, that was worse than this. But you know what? The question is, when's the last time we saw a straight match worse than this? That would be... The only one I can think of, there was a WrestleMania where Night 2 started with a women's tag gauntlet. It was quite awful. It was two, maybe three years ago. But if anyone has any better options, chime in. Remind me what I might be overlooking. Okay, a couple things. Mm. Let's start with There's Wendy. There's many things. Well, let's start with Wendy Chu. She's been doing this a decade. Yeah. And she is a fine worker. Unfortunately, she has the absolute worst fucking gimmick. And I looked up, and she's always had the worst gimmick. Remember she was the thousand-year-old lady? Was that her too? Yeah. I've forgotten. Yeah. Which actually their idea was that she would be Yoda in the prequels. I see. Where she was a thousand years old, but when the bell rang, she'd be amazing. And then she'd limp her way back to her wheelchair again or whatever. But now she's got Wendy Chu, whose gimmick is that she's always asleep. And I was looking up. Wendy's, because I want to see how long she'd been working, because I knew she'd been around for a while. So I go to her Wikipedia, and I was reading it, and I came upon this. May I read this? Why don't you? Chu wrestles in a, quote, technical, end quote, style, with a mix of, quote, technical wizardry and breathtaking aerial assaults, what? end quote. Her finishing moves have included a modified Boston Crab dubbed the Spring Roll, a Fujiwara armbar, and a rear naked choke. She utilizes, quote, an array of stunning suplexes, end quote. Now, each of these quotes had the little thing, you know, the number, what do they call it? The reference? Footnote. Footnote? Yeah. I'm reading this and I thought, I know the wrestle, the, the Wikipedia wrestling editors like, I'm sure there's some good ones, but most of them fucking suck. Who the fuck wrote that? What site wrote those words? And the Wikipedia editors used it in her bio. So I scroll down to find out who wrote that shit. And turns out they got it from WWE.com. I should have known. Hmm. So anyway, like I, I was watching like the first minute of this match and I was like, okay, this is already better than most of the recent Kalani Jordan matches. Because she's in there with a worker who's, like, carrying her, right? That lasted a minute. I like Kalani Jordan a lot. I don't want anyone to think I don't like her. When when I first saw her, her first ever match I saw on NXT TV, NXT TV, I was like, if I worked there, I would want to mentor her. The gymnast... Her first match, I was like, I'm very impressed with her work. Well, here we are. She is now the champion. And, like, she was special when she debuted. And now she's every other gymnast they have. They have managed to make her a cookie-cutter gymnast who has wrestling matches. All she does. And I remember when she first debuted, I was like, they had her do like one cool gymnastic -y spot and nothing else. The rest of the time she worked and it was so good. Now it's gymnastics, gymnastics, gymnastics. I've ranted about gymnastics before. Okay. I did it. I was an instructor for 25 years. I don't hate gymnastics, but I fucking hate watching gymnastics and wrestling, especially when it doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay. Oh, but what about Will Ospreay? What about... If you're going to do a fucking moonsault off the post and you add a spin to it, it's awesome. Whatever. Okay? That's cool. Why in the fuck would you do a DDT into the splits? Why would you do that? Why would you have someone's head and instead of falling back and driving their head into the mat, you instead fall into the splits to drive their head? Why would anybody fucking do that? I swear to God, in the first five minutes of this match, we had three spots involving a round-off. I'm going to do a round-off before I do a move. Why would you do a round-off before you do a move? Why would you do that? 
I saw handsprings in the flatliners. Why would you do a handspring into a flatliner? Why flat would liner? you do a handspring into a grapple? It doesn't. I'm going to do a flip so I can grab you. Any fucking sense. And it's one after another. And then, like the match itself, they're just, uh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. They had a spot where Kalani's on the top rope. Wendy's going to do a superplex. Kalani shoves her off after a long fight. And the long fight shoving her off was merely so that she would run back up again. But she runs back up, and they both just fell off the top rope. And they landed on the ground. And the announcers are like, it must be the... ad." That's what Vic said. must be the altitude. The Denver altitude. It's like the altitude They're affected <laughs> gravity. Dizzy. Yanked them off the top rope. And... So they keep doing these moves. We did a handspring into the fucking flatliner. And then she hits a 450, which she's a gymnast, but it's not that good a 450. And then she hits a, a split-legged moonsault, which wasn't much of a split-legged moonsault. And she gets the pin. And I just was so angry watching this. It's like, what are they doing? We already have somebody on the main roster who does gymnastics. It's Tiffany Stratton. Okay. You want one woman to do it? That's fine. You got Tiffany. Kalani's going to do the same gimmick? Why? Let her work. And it I got even more angry because the next match... No, two matches next. Like, Jada Parker's there. And she is miles beyond the rest of these green women. Miles and miles beyond. And she had a miles better match with Roxanne. And do you want to know Why? Because they just had a fucking wrestling match. She was a soccer player. So they're not in there making her do round-offs and fucking cartwheels and this, that, and the other. She's fucking wrestling and she's getting really good at it. They took a woman who actually really impressed me with her wrestling in her first match. And they've turned her into a gymnast. Why? So I did not like this match at all. I thought it was the worst PLE match I've seen in... I don't even know when the last one was. I mean, God. Can we just let her wrestle? Like, she has so much potential and talent, and you're stripping it away from her to do stuff that doesn't look good just because she's capable of doing it. Listen, do you remember me ever doing a 450? Uh, not off the top of my head. I did one. All right. Okay? I, uh, I did one against Craig in Cloverdale. I was like, you know what? I can do a fucking 450. I can do a double front in the, sure. pit, in the pit. I can do a 450 off the top. Mm. I did it. I went back and I watched the tape. And I was like, you know what? I did it. But it wasn't that good. I never did it again. Mm -hmm. Because a senton looked a thousand times better. So why not do the stuff that looked good? Why not watch your matches? I don't. I'm not expecting her to do this, but like the 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 people who are the people that are in charge of this supposed to be coaching her and training her. Why don't you watch the matches, see what people do that looks good, have them continue to do it, and the stuff that doesn't look good, get rid of it. I don't know. So for a long time, this was merely boring, and this is the best part of the match. It was long and boring. Kalani starts making a comeback, and Wendy starts doing Undertaker sit-ups. And there's a point where... That's the other one, yeah. Yeah, you know, where uh, Wendy does an Undertaker sit-up. So Kalani counters this with a high cross. She jumped very high <laughs> to attack someone who was very low. And as she's doing this, Vinny, Vic Joseph, a grown man, is telling me, a 49-year-old man, that Wendy Chu is possessed. Hmm. Demons sure. inhabit her body. Spirits. Fuck off. Yeah. She is not possessed by demons. This is stupid. So someone here, I realized, they were crowd sweetening for a live show. Because they had to, because the crowd was dead for this match. I watched a lot of wrestling. Maybe I've seen that before. I can't think of one. Uh, we have the bit where they go up top and both fall down, frantically uh, grabbing at each other. <laughs> trying to hold on to anything they can. Thankfully, nobody, nobody was hurt. Wendy gets her choke on, whatever the hell it is, and Kalani won't quit. I'm like, please stop wrestling. Just quit. The handspring into a grapple, one of them. Kalani finally wins. It sucked. Worst PLE match I've seen in longer than I can remember. 
You know what I will say Thumbs about down. Kalani, though? Because hmm. let me say it again. I like her. I think she has a lot of potential. I think she has a potential to be great if they stop doing this shit. This match was a calamity, but when it was over, she did not have the boo-boo face. She did not look depressed. She looked like she had accomplished this. a victory over another wrestler. I was like, do you fuckers see what you have right here? Do you see what you have? Why are you ruining this? Why are you making this worse? Take what you've got. Ah, fuck it. Why am I wasting my time? I know. Might as well yell about Javon Evans while I'm at it. See, I know what you mean. I, and there was a match in NXT. I think it was NXT. No, it was, it was TNA. I forget exactly who it was. But there was a match that was so bad, the, the winner was pissed off when it was done. I see that all the time with people who have done this for years. And you don't want that. You don't want that. I honestly think Kalani is so green, she doesn't know if something's good or bad. I think she just had poise. She had to know that things went wrong in this match. They fell off the top rope doing a spot. <laughs> I'm sure that's not you what they had don't planned. Don't forget that. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.